Pharrell back at Hurley's in the theater district on Broadway and 48th in Midtown Manhattan, Times Square, baby. Want to tell you about something, Black Friday. That's the day after Thanksgiving. The brand new Affliction store opens at the Garden State Plaza. Go out there and meet Pharrell's old lady, 34C. She's a legend. She's going to be working there. So is my buddy Jose Mangan from Octane Liquid Metal, Hair Nation, all that. That's right, Jose, the DJ, his wife Melissa runs the place. They'll be hanging out, hotties everywhere. AfflictionClothing.com, Garden State Plaza, new store, Black Friday. Check it out. There's tons of games. I got no time to mess around. So let's dive right in on Turkey Week. <laughs> so on Turkey Day, a and in Texas is going to be playing. Texas sucks. Aggies are better. Let's get it on. Aggies laying three. They get it done. Colorado and Nebraska. Nebraska's pissed off. Polini flipping out on players on the sideline. How soft are these players and their daddies and mommies crying? Oh, the coach yelled at my son. Oh, the coach swore at my son. How about this? Oh, what Nebraska's going to do to Colorado because they're pissed off at losing last week. I guarantee it. Auburn and Alabama, the Iron Bowl for the world. Auburn's going to play for the national championship. Wrong. Alabama smokes them. And you can count on it. They're not losing at home. Nick Saban's got a little present for the... Uh, Auburn Tigers and Mr. Newton. Anyway, Arizona and Oregon are playing in Eugene. And the spread's 18 and a half. Last year, 44-41. It was close. This year, it's not going to be close at all. Ducks roll. Backyard brawl. West Virginia and Pitt. Last year, 1916 Mountaineers. This year, Pitt's land two. This year, Pitt gets it done. Panthers at home. I still don't think they should be playing in a BCS Bowl. The Big East shouldn't be allowed in. The conference has sucked all year. And then you got Boise State, Nevada Friday as well. It's at Nevada. They're getting 14 and a half. Last year, 44-33 Boise. Boise was laying 13 and a half. Same kind of number. Nevada can score. This is the biggest game they've had ever at Nevada. Can they get it done? Can they cover? That's the question. I say they're in the football game. Boise State slips by. Let's go to Saturday, LSU, Arkansas. At the Hogs, they're laying three and a half to LSU. LSU keeps getting lucky. Their luck runs out here. Indiana, Purdue, pretty old oak and bucket. I'm a Hoosier. I went to IU, and I'm completely embarrassed because our football program sucks ass. And they're going to lose at Purdue like they always do. The Boilers beat them every year. It wouldn't even matter if Indiana showed up or didn't show up. They'd still lose. You got Kansas, Missouri. It's in Columbia. The number's big, 25 and a half. Be very leery of that number. These two hate each other's guts. I think Kansas stinks. I think the Tigers blow them out. But do they win by 26? I don't know. That's scary. That's up to you. I'd leave that off the table. North Carolina and Duke. Heels are laying 10. I don't think the Heels are 10 better than anybody. And Duke seems to cover lately over the last four weeks. You might grab that 10 and be healthy there. Florida, Florida State. It's in Tala. Pass it. And they're laying two to three. You can get it anywhere at any book. The Seminoles are favored. The Gators are going to show up for this game. I think it will be a field goal game. Push it best. I like the Seminoles there. Georgia Tech, Georgia. Georgia's laying 12 and a half. Every time they play, it's a tight game. 30 to 24 last year, Bulldogs. They get to play them in Athens. Big advantage. But I don't think they're 12 and a half better than the Yellow Jackets, who've had a really average year. Michigan, Ohio State. Buckeyes laying 17 and a half in Columbus. I say they get it done. Uh, nothing stopping the Buckeyes now from the BCS or the Rose Bowl. I say they deserve to go. Nice win at Iowa, by the way. Michigan State, Penn State. Spartans have had a lot of close calls, including last week. And now this week they go to Miserable Valley and they lose to the Nittany Lions. It's unbelievable. And Penn State's getting one and a half. Snag that. Utah getting a uh, land 10 to BYU. I say BYU covers here. Utah had the two big losses. Then they get by San Diego State by four. Not good enough for me. Utah is tanking late in the season. Oregon State, Stanford. This is going to be a great game. I say the Beavers cover the big number of 14. South Carolina going to Clemson. I still think Spurrier's team's better. They're laying two and a half. Lay it. Mississippi State, Ole Miss. The Bulldogs have had a better season. I'll lay the two and a half. Oklahoma State. Laying two to Oklahoma. They're in Stillwater. A lot of people are going to bet on the Cowboys. I'm going the other way with the Sooners. Bob Stoops in a big game. You can't bet against him. I'll take Oklahoma. Kentucky, Tennessee. Tennessee's laying three. They've been winning lately, getting hot. But then again, so is Kentucky. I'll still take the balls here. A couple more. Virginia, Vitek. 
Vatek's gonna be all over this game. Everyone's gonna bet on him. But I say the Cavs cover the 23 and a half, and it's a better game than that big number suggests. And Notre Dame USC, USC's laying four. Barkley's got a bad ankle. I'll take the Fighting Irish and the number. You heard me right. How's that for tons of college football games? We got the pros coming up next. Rage with us on Payne Day every week from Hurley's in Times Square. They're accepting invitations and, you know, dinner resis for Thanksgiving Day. Go to Hurley'sNYC.com. Shake it up for Ralph Steinle with tons of locks. ScottBeatsTheMan.com rules. How about I hit all of those games? My top four, seven of my top ten, ten of my top fifteen. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Hey, for all, we're ready to talk. Pain day here at Hurley. So we're going to get resis for Turkey Day if you're in New York at HurleysNYC.com. Uh, I wanted to give you all the crappy games in the NFL on Sunday so we can get them out of the way and then talk about the good games. Panthers at Browns, Titans at Texans, Jaguars at G-Men in the Meadowlands, Vikings at Redskins, Vikings fired Brad Childress this week, Dolphins at Raiders in the Black Hole, Chiefs, Seahawks in Seattle, and the Rams go to Denver. And those are the games I think that just are bunk. And the rest of them I like, and we're going to talk about including the three games on Turkey Day with Rasan Rogers, Luke Pelopino, Brian Ciano, the Mad Hatter, and of course Shepherd's Pie. I'm Pharrell, and we're gigging here in New York. All right, first of all, how big is your asshole after the Raiders took the grapefruit in your doinker from my Steelers after all your talk all week about how uh, the number was too big and you were going to win outright and everybody, you and Romanowski, everybody took the Raiders. I don't think I ever said they were going to win outright. What I was saying was don't sell them short and think they had no chance. It was embarrassing. They got raped. I thought that the Steelers would, coming off a loss like they played against the Patriots, kick the Raiders' ass, and they did. Uh, I went and uh, saw the Jets, and they were down after leading big, then got down, and then that crazy play, Sanchez to Holmes, what do you think of your Jets? They win again, and that's three straight games, Holmes with a miracle touchdown to win it for New York. That's when good teams come through, in the clutch situations, when their back's to the wall. It's not the way you want to win all the time, but I go with Rex Ryan saying, I'll apologize every week for the way they win all the way to the Super Bowl, if that's what it takes. And uh, the Eagles handled your Giants in Philadelphia, Michael Vick, and he really didn't play that well. He didn't play that well. The Giants defense did get to him. They disrupted a lot of the things he wanted to do, but the Giants made too many mental mistakes. It's the same story every time they go to the field. And they turn the ball over every time they're running it. Terry Collins got named the manager of the match, and I wanted to laugh because, I mean, how pathetic is that as their choice? It's not pathetic. I don't it think is I'm... pathetic. Oh, you're going to let me talk? You can't... No! <laughs> of course you're not going to let me talk. You can't slam it until you actually see what the results on the field. I don't like the fact that Collins lost two clubhouses. His entire career, he's one game over 500. He's 10 games over 500. He's average at best. And you, stay out of this. All right, let's get into all of the games this week that matter, including Turkey Day. I love Turkey Day games because I always make a lot of money while I'm eating turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy. Pats and Lions. I mean, please. I've been hearing all I can take about the Lions. Pats threw in the ass on Turkey Day. Yeah, I'm going with the Pats and Lions. I always get their ass you know, things from anyway. I'm taking the Patriots, but I think it's going to be closer than both of you guys think. Ooh, who do you like? I agree. Patriots aren't all that they're hyped up to be. They're going to win, but they're not going to cover. Wow. Ooh. It's got to be the Patriots. I mean, the Lions playing a backup quarterback. They're better at home, but still, the Patriots are the Patriots. Yeah, and who do you like? Deion Branch is back. I'm taking the Pats. All right, let's go to the second game. Saints and Cowboys. I think that the Saints are now starting to look like they're in the driver's street seat in the NFC. Playing great, school in Seattle. I say they school the Cowboys in Dallas. Yeah, I'm going with the Saints. I like the new life that the Cowboys have, but you're uh, exactly right. The Saints are starting to come back to that Super Bowl form. I think it's a close game by the halftime, and, and then the Saints are going to wipe it. These new look Cowboys are all crap. They're going to get that new life taken right out of them because the Saints are going to roll. Who do you like? <laughs> Against the top ranked defense for the Giants, the Cowboys won. Kitten threw through for 327 yards. I'm taking the Cowboys at home. All of a sudden, getting hot. Yeah, taking a risk. <laughs> High end there. Bengals and Jets, Meadowlands. Well, all I have to say about the Bengals is they were up 31 10 on the Bills and got smoked for 49 points and lost. The Bengals are now the worst team in football, not the Bills. I say the Jets roll at the Meadowlands and everybody's eating turkey legs. Oh, I'm taking the Jets. They showed it last year that they beat the Bengals when the Bengals had nothing to play for. Then they beat them when the Bengals had everything to play for in the playoffs. It's just going to continue. The Jets are going to continue their domination of the Bengals. The Bengals are awesome. I agree. All right, that's simple. All right, let's go to the Sunday games. And we think we pick four of the best games, and then the Sunday night game we'll get to in a minute. Packers-Falcons. Uh, this game's in Atlanta, and uh, I'm going high risk. I'm taking the Packers on a road to end the Falcons' winning streak. 
Yeah, Ryan versus Rogers. I'm taking Rogers. These are both great teams. It's going to be one of the best games on Sunday. But I think that Atlanta's going to get it because we've already seen them getting calls in that Baltimore game. They're going to get it home this week, and they're going to squeak by. And they did handle the Rams in St. Louis. Who do you like? A uh, two, matchup with two of the best teams in the NFC, I mean, outside of the Eagles. Um, considering that Ryan just doesn't lose at home, I think it's Matt Ryan all the way in the Falcons. And uh, Shepard's five. Yeah, I can't go against Matty Ice at home. I'm taking the Falcons. All right, so we got a lot of disparity there. Who knows what will happen? Let's go to the uh, Bucks ravens I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm taking the Bucks in Baltimore with the points against uh, the Ravens. I'm going with the Bucks too. Josh Freeman is legit, and Mike Williams got a little trouble on the field, but he's still playing well, so I'm going with the Bucks. They still can't convict him for uh, being drunk when he didn't uh, blow a DUI. They said he was on something else. I hope so. i got to ask you a question. You look terrific, your hair, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you, like the be- you. you like the beard, too? No, just keep going. You look like yeah. Jesus. Um, so who do you like in this game? I'm going to go against you, Mr. Farrell. I'm taking the Ravens. All right, he's just going against everything I say today because he's wearing that gay green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steelers, Bills, and Buffalo. I just think there's going to be a good game because the Bills uh, are starting to play good football, and the Steelers got back to their winning ways. Will they stumble laying six and a half in Buffalo? I say no. I'll take that spread. If my Raiders can't make it competitive against the Steelers, there's no way the Bills are going to. The Steelers just going to break them in their ass. <laughs> Uh, like? right, that's the important thing. The, the Bills play good against bad teams. When they play good teams, they get shellacked. Look what the Jets them, did, did to them in Buffalo. What's going to happen again with the Steelers? I like the fact that the Bills can put up some points as long as Fitzpatrick is going in the air. But uh, I don't think they're putting up points against that defense. Probably not. Um, I'll take the Steelers at home. All right, and uh, Pat Russ? Fitzpatrick is not going for career highs against the Steelers. I'm taking the Steelers. You're finally taking the Steelers. All right, Eagles-Bears, it's in Chicago. And I just think Michael Vick's too much. Even though that Bears defense is very physical, this is a very tough game for Michael Vick to win on the road. I'm still taking the Eagles. In Soldier Field. I'm taking the Eagles. Michael Vick's unstoppable. Uh, and their defense is looking ridiculous. Asante Samuel had a great game last week. So I'm, going to I'm actually going to take the Bears in this game only because I like the way their defense is playing. And the Giants showed the rest of the NFL how to confuse and make Michael Vick a little bit uncomfortable in the pocket. So I think the Bears are going to look at that, see the tape, and then they're going to implement it in their defense to get this job done. All right, we're in a hurry. Who do you like? I like the Eagles. Don't believe the hype on the Bears. The Dolphins were crap. What do you like? At the same time, the Bears don't have the pass rushes that the, Gi- the Giants do, and eventually the Eagles are going to prove that they're the best team in the NFC, so I'm taking the Eagles. What do you like? Fly, Eagles, fly. All right, now we got two games left. we got to be really fast. Chargers and Colts Sunday night. Niners and Cards on Monday night football. I'm going to take the Colts, and I'm going to take the Niners. I'm going the same way. I'm actually taking the Chargers. Chargers always beat the Colts. Ooh. I'm taking the Chargers. They have all the weapons, and Peyton Manning keeps losing his. And who do you like in that Niner Cardinal game? I'm not even watching it because I'm not even watch. Taking the Chargers. Chargers just have too many weapons for the Colts to stop. Wow. And who do you like, Niners Cardinals? I'll take the Cardinals in a meaningless game in that horrible division. And who do you like in the uh, Chargers, Colts, Niners Cards? I'm with the great Mr. Pharrell, Colts, and your team, Niners. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, how much food are you going to eat for Thanksgiving and booze? Uh, I'm going to be passed out by halfway through the meal because I've drank so much before. It. What about you? you eat a lot. you going to drink a lot? Of course. What about you? I'm going to eat and drink my weight in food. All right, what about you? I'm going to watch the parade with all the balloons, and I'm going to eat a lot of food. All right, what about you? Oh, you know I'm eating a lot, Mr. Perot. Now, here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to smoke. Anyway, enjoy all the football on Thanksgiving. Tons of games, college and pro. Go to scottpizzaman.com. Last week in the pros, I hit my top leg green bed. They humiliated the Vikings. Brett Favre's career is noosed. And all I have to say is I hit uh, three and a six. And I went 3-2-1, and one, and I ended up in eight games against spread the bros. Tons of games in college, including my top four, and seven of my top ten, ten of my top fifteen. ScottBeatsMan.com for everything in college football, pro football, and NBA, NHL, college hoops, MMA, boxing. It's chaos. All I do is hit winners, and all you do is make chatter. We'll see you next time from Hurley's in Times Square in the Theater District 48 in Broadway. Don't forget, Hurley'sNYC.com. And the Black Friday opening of the Affliction Store in the Garden State Plaza. For the boys, I'm Pharrell. Peace. Shake it out.